Hello guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be talking 10 best summer tops for curvy girls. Now these tops are going to work for honestly every body type, every body shape, every body size. I am a curvy girl, I'm a size UK 12, 14, so I love giving curvy girl styling tips and that's obviously why I say for curvy girls because that's what I'm going to be doing but honestly these tops are going to work for so many different people because they're just such lovely lovely tops and a reminder about me as I said I'm a size UK 12 14 I am five foot six because I know that helps kind of knowing how tall I am um, and I had a baby 19 months ago so my body's changed a lot I have a mum tum which I definitely didn't have before so I like to dress around that or I don't, it just depends on how I feel and um, if I want to embrace those parts or whether I want to kind of cover them for those days very quickly on what I'm wearing today. So this top is from Marge. It's actually a bodysuit and it has this like amazing cutout section. I'll do a cutaway so you guys can see my full outfit. Um, and then I'm wearing, and I think actually I have this top in a size three, which I think is like a 12 to 14 in Marge terms. Um, but it's super stretchy and it's a really beautiful top. And then I'm actually wearing it with these linen um, trousers from Beyond Nine. They are the Mabel trousers. I have them in a size small. You guys have seen them before on here. You guys know I talk about Beyond Nine all the time because I literally do. <laughs> because I'm obsessed with them um, and yeah it's just a comfy nice outfit because we are having a heat wave here in the minute but yeah let me take you through my favorite tops so I have been told that I potentially talk a little bit too much in these videos so I don't want to rush through it but I do want to make sure that you guys are getting to the end with me so I want to make sure this is a little bit shorter whether I edit it shorter and I'm still talking as much or I manage to talk less who knows Anyway, let's get to the tops. So the first top I want to show you is this beautiful tie front top from Ganny. I actually got this second hand from Vinted. The top's been around for a while and I knew I wanted it, but I didn't want to pay the £165 that it is. So I got actually got it for half price um, and it's literally probably been worn once. I have this in a size 12 and it fits, which I think is a 40 at Ganny and it fits beautifully. It's obviously beautiful quality because it's Ganny um, and I would just wear this with a pair of jeans I would wear this with a mini skirt or actually how I want to show you it is styled with a pair of kind of poplin shorts black shorts um which are similar obviously material to this and it's kind of going to look like a set which is going to look really cute for a curvy girl I love wearing when something's more oversized like this I like either wearing something a little bit more fitted on the bottom or wearing something kind of short so that's why I'm obviously opting to show you kind of the black poplin shorts with this top um but it's really beautiful so the next top is actually a top that I've shown you before and it's this halter neck bodysuit um, and it's from Manners London. Now Manners London create pieces for women who have bigger chests so they don't need to wear a bra which for me it's just the best thing ever. I have an e-cop so I definitely definitely need to wear a bra with things like breast had my baby for 13 months. When I don't have to wear a bra, it makes me so, so happy. And with kind of a halter neck style, normally I would be like, I have to wear a bra. I hate strapless bras. They don't support me. I don't feel comfortable in them. So this is why this is so perfect because you just don't need to do that. And for me as a curvy girl, I would style this with a more kind of flowy bottom so whether that's more of a tailored oversized pair of trousers or kind of a flowy maxi skirt this just looks beautiful with either one of those obviously that then skims your tummy skims your hips skims your bum makes your waist look really tiny because obviously it's cinching everything in the waist and it's just such a beautiful top especially if you have a bigger bust I'm also wearing this in a size medium as well um, and again yeah, I'm UK ties 12 to 14 and that's perfect for me so I couldn't do this kind of 10 best tops video without talking about an oversized shirt. Um, and this is an oversized shirt from Rotate Christian Burger. I've definitely said that wrong. We'll just say Rotate. <laughs> I will link it in the information as I do with everything. And I have this in a medium, I think, which normally this is actually very oversized as well, which I love about it. Normally I would definitely get a size like a large or an extra large in the shirt because I would want it oversized. But this was actually the biggest size I could find that they did and it fits really oversized which is perfect. As you can see it's new, I only just got it. It's just such a beautiful quality shirt. I just wanted something that was pink as well. I have a pink obsession at the minute. Now 
I would style this as a curvy girl, definitely either tucked in, fully tucked into something French tucked, I talk about French tucking all the time because it just gives your body a little bit more definition, it helps to show off your waist a little bit more, which is never a bad thing when you're a curvy girl. I would definitely wear this as a full oversized look, said it before, say it again, don't be afraid of oversized looks when you're curvy, they just look amazing, but you just need to make sure that when you're wearing those looks, everything is kind of fully oversized and nothing is clinging, um, so I'd either wear that as a full oversized look, um, or I'd actually wear it with a pair of shorts again, so we're kind of pairing that kind of short item with a more of an oversized item on top but obviously I will show you how I style this um, but as, as you would imagine from this brand it's super good quality as well and I'm just going to have this in my wardrobe for years again I could not do this video without talking about an oversized t-shirt and and specifically for me an oversized graphic t-shirt I just think they're such a cool addition to your wardrobe when you want something a bit different this is what one is from Picant it has like a a chili on the back I love it <laughs> I love the red I love the green I just think it's such a nice t-shirt the quality is amazing the material is kind of a thicker heavier cotton um doesn't make you hot because we're going through kind of a heat wave in the UK at the minute it doesn't make you hot and um, it just falls beautifully I actually have this in the XXL which I was kind of surprised then but actually I'm not I normally try to get t-shirts and shirts as big as I can and um, just because I love that look on me and being mid size I do need kind of that extra material for it to look oversized um, so I just think this is such a beautiful t-shirt I would definitely wear this either kind of French tucked um, in a pair of shorts or in a skirt it looks really cool with like a full maxi skirt as kind of something a little bit different and a little bit edgy if you're trying to edge up a kind of maxi skirt um, or again with a full oversized look with wide leg trousers or wide leg jeans and you just fully untuck this and um, which I just think is such a cool and super easy look to to have. So the next top kind of has really cool similar vibes to the Ganny top that I showed you at the start of the video and this is this denim um, kind of fitted denim top with ties at the front from ASOS. I have this in a medium, I've said this before, ASOS with mediums are a UK size 12 to 14 perfect for me like I know that's always going to fit and it does um, and what I love about this is it's quite fitted when you have it on and I wanted a more fitted top to wear with um, a kind of fuller skirt or a fuller pair of trousers because as I've said before as a curvy girl it's so 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 flattering to kind of nip in your waist kind of show off that waist and then kind of wear volume over your hips tummy bottom area so that's definitely the type of silhouette that I will always go for when I'm kind of looking for tops that I want to add to my wardrobe so this is what drew me to this top because it is more of a fitted top I'm also obsessed with denim at the minute like I could just wear denim in probably every item of clothing in my wardrobe um, and it's a beautiful top again this is from a, a, a fast, fast fashion brand but it's something that I can see longevity in my wardrobe I can see myself pulling this out next year which is really 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 important for me if I'm putting something like this into my wardrobe that I can kind of see myself wearing it for a very very long time so back onto shirts because they really are a staple in my wardrobe is this white shirt that has kind of a tie waist um, and then it has kind of an eyelet detail in the back where the kind of tie waist is obviously I'll show it on me and how I style it and um, so you guys can see what it looks like this is from the brand gospel and um, which I actually got from ASOS and um, it's such a beautiful shirt I think this kind of shirt is so easily dressed up or dressed down I haven't a size large and um, which is perfect for me I wanted a bit oversized and then I could kind of use the tie to nip in the waist again so flattering if you are curvy this is also going to look amazing with pretty much everything in your wardrobe because you're already nipping in that waist it's giving your body shape giving your body structure and um, so you can literally wear it with anything the only thing that I do not love about this shirt and it's quite a big thing to be honest is it's dry clean only had I known that maybe I wouldn't have got it um because obviously I wore this it's why I got makeup around the collar which you're gonna do um so yeah that isn't the best thing about it and may put some people off um I actually might even try and put it in the washing machine at one point on the gentle wash see what happens probably shrinkage but I don't know how and much it's gonna annoy me and cost me going back to the dry cleaners anyway looking for a shirt with a tie waist like this is so so flattering and definitely something I'm gonna have in my wardrobe for a long time less a dry cleaning issue <laughs> 
so I am definitely on my pink vibe at the minute I don't know what it is I've just suddenly gravitated towards it and um, but I got this kind of sheared top from um, ASOS now this top again is in a size medium which is a UK size 12 14 so perfect for me I think why I'm going with these some of these tops is I was definitely as I said with the denim tie top I'm definitely going towards a silhouette where it's kind of a more fitted top on top and then more voluminous at the bottom whether that's shorts skirt um, trousers and I just love this top for that reason um, and a lot of super fitted tops I think are often not that flattering when you're curvy but this kind of sheer detail is going to be really really flattering on the body and that's the reason why I kind of gravitated towards I love the kind of boat neck as well that gives me lots of 90s vibes and um, you'll obviously see how I style it um, but I just think this shape of top is just so versatile it was also I think £20 so again it's not going to break the bam but I see longevity in my wardrobe which is why I loved it so much so the next top might seem a little bit more on the boring side but there's a reason I'm showing you is because it's a really good top and it literally gets worn all of the time and these are the type of items I want to show you as well maybe a little bit boring but we all need items like this in our wardrobe so a necessity now this is a fitted grey ribbed t-shirt from Adenola now I have had fitted t-shirts from Adenola before I do have a few of them and they're more of that stretchy cotton material that really stretchy cotton material rather than ribs and although I really like them I do find them quite restrictive and quite uncomfortable whereas with the rib ribbed versions I just think they're so much more comfortable I don't know maybe I am um, just getting comfortable easy <laughs> I don't know or running around with a child you just need pure comfort I just find these so 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 much more comfortable they still have that really nice like fitted t-shirt kind of look um with Ad Adenola obviously you're going to get good quality of course that's how it is that brand's amazing and I love it and wear it all the time I'm wearing a size large in this t-shirt and definitely for styling again I would opt for something a little bit more full on the bottom half which is going to be super flattering going to nip in your waist and going to look amazing amazing if you're curvy or any body shape so back to shirts because I always circle back to shirts in the end I actually wore this shirt not last video but the video before and this is denim um pale denim quite thick denim actually short sleeve kind of with a raw hem shirt from cos I have this in a size 44 which is the biggest size that they do in cos I think it's a 16 um which is actually quite mad that you think about it that they don't do bigger sizes than that that seems to be the size that they they go up to um i wanted this to fit super super oversized which is why um i bought it in this size almost like a jacket kind of fit um and because this is a thicker denim i think it lends itself really well to that I love wearing this done up over something really short underneath um, and just kind of seeing the bottom of those shorts or that skirt i think it looks beautiful or wearing open over kind of a crop top or a fitted tee and some kind of jeans or some wide leg trousers because again that's definitely my style but it's also something that really really flatters my body shape um just being aware of proportion so if you are wearing something more oversized on top just being aware that maybe wear something slightly fitted more fitted on the bottom or something maybe short so you're kind of showing your your legs um, and that's just flattering if you're curvy as with anything in cost, it's really, really good quality. Um, and again, it's a, it's like a, this is a summer denim shirt. This is going to be in my wardrobe for such a long time. and something I'm never not going to love. So the next and the last item that I want to show you is a knitted waistcoat. I just think a knitted waistcoat in the spring and summer is such a cute thing to have in your wardrobe. Again, it's going to look so good with so many things. This is on the more oversized kind of fit. So I like to wear it again with something a little bit more fitted on the bottom or something that is short. Um, and I just think this looks so beautiful. This is actually a vintage waistcoat and I got it from Vinted for like five pounds i will forever be a vintage fan i have some of my best vintage off there and this being five pounds i think is literally amazing and i just know one else is going to have it i know it's one of the most sustainable ways to buy clothing and um, this is why it will always be the place that i gravitate towards if i want to buy kind of secondhand clothing or i want to buy vintage sometimes we'll get to that in a minute <laughs> um i'll show you how i will style this there's loads of kind of knitted waistcoats on the high street as well if you do didn't want something vintage or didn't know where to start finding something vintage um again for curvy girls i actually love for a curvy girl a more fitted knitted waistcoat as well i think that just looks so beautiful especially if you're gravitating to more of a kind of an oversized 
um, bottom but yeah it's just such a lovely piece to have in your wardrobe as always thank you so much for watching my videos please like and subscribe your support literally means everything to me and I asked actually in my previous video when I spoke about vintage if you guys would like to know kind of what items I source vintage and where I source from and you and also styling of course and you guys were like yes we want that so that is what I'm going to do next week actually not next week a week afterwards I'm going on a holiday with my family next week so I'm going to give myself just a week's break and um, but I'll be back the week after um, for this video which I hope you guys will love um, and again yeah thank you so much for watching